Brothers and sisters, today we will continue Genesis 49 to 50. Genesis 49 records the blessings and prophecies that Jacob pronounced over his twelve sons. Jacob, now nearing the end of his life, called his sons together and shared with them what would happen to their descendants in the future. Jacob began by addressing his firstborn, Reuben, but he rebuked him for his past actions and declared that he would no longer excel or have the privileges of the firstborn. Jacob then proceeded to speak about each of his sons, giving them specific blessings and prophecies. To Simeon and Levi, Jacob expressed his anger for their violence and cursed their anger and wrath. He proclaimed that they would be scattered and dispersed among the tribes of Israel. To Judah, Jacob gave a significant blessing, proclaiming that the scepter would not depart from his descendants until the coming of the one to whom it belongs. He praised Judah for his leadership and predicted that his brothers would bow down to him. Jacob spoke about his other sons as well, addressing their strengths, weaknesses, and future roles among the tribes of Israel. He blessed Joseph, praising his faithfulness and declaring that his blessings would overflow the boundaries of his land. In Genesis 49, Jacob's words serve as prophecies, revealing the future destinies of his sons and their descendants. These blessings and prophecies provide insights into the character and roles of each tribe within the larger narrative of Israel's history. The chapter highlights the significance of ancestral blessings and sets the stage for the fulfillment of God's plans for the nation of Israel. Genesis 50 concludes the story of Joseph and his brothers. After their father Jacob died, Joseph's brothers were concerned that he might seek revenge for the wrongs they had done to him. They approached Joseph, asking for forgiveness and offering themselves as his slaves. But Joseph reassured them, saying that he was not in a position to judge or punish them. He understood that what they had intended for harm, God had used for good. Joseph comforted his brothers, assuring them that he would provide for them and their families. Joseph lived a long life and saw his descendants grow and multiply. Before his death, he made his brothers promise to carry his bones with them when God led them out of Egypt and back to the land of Canaan. Joseph died at the age of 110, and his body was embalmed and placed in a coffin in Egypt. His brothers mourned for him, and they fulfilled Joseph's request by taking his body with them when they eventually left Egypt, just as he had instructed. Genesis 50 emphasizes the theme of forgiveness and reconciliation. It demonstrates Joseph's remarkable ability to let go of past wrongs and extend grace to his brothers. It also highlights the fulfillment of God's promises and the faithfulness of his plan, even in the face of adversity and human shortcomings. Dear brothers and sisters, we will continue the next book of Exodus in the next video. Stay blessed. Amen. Kindly subscribe and share. Thank you and good night.